David Reed. I live down in Sheffield. Don't hold that against me. I gotta say that I'm glad that I've been involved in music pretty much all my life and was fortunate to um, have grown up in close proximity to a uh, jazz cornet player from New Orleans who took me under his wing for the first four years of my life and I made noises on a trumpet during that time. I don't know if I call it music. Later on, when I was in elementary school, I had the chance to pick up a real trumpet and that's what kicked me off down the runway. Later on, I formed other different bands. I was fortunate enough in high school to uh, form a Herb Alpert type of band that uh, took me on the road to uh, the Montreal World's Fair and was there for, played there for a week and I got bit by the bug there and uh, haven't looked back. Uh, I formed several bands during the years and uh, in college uh, with, a, with a roommate we formed uh, the Max Creek Band and uh, did a lot of our uh, repertoire around the Alan Lomax um, songbook, Americana Folk Music, which we were really into. So uh, after I left the band, I did a solo stuff and was uh, um, kind of still influenced by that uh, material, the Lomax, the, the blues. Um, and I uh, wanted to learn fingerstyle guitar. So that's what I did. I'll start out here with uh, one of my tunes. Uh, it's a sort of a blues thing. I'm not going to go through all the songs because I've got so many things here. You know, we haven't got time to do it all. But we'll start with one of mine. This one's called Dr. Easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started doing, uh, traveling around a lot more places and wound up spending about 25 years um, off and on in the Caribbean. And there I picked up and absorbed a lot of the uh, styles that were indigenous to uh, uh, the Virgin Islands, the Quell Bay scratch band music, the reggae. Calypso, Soka, and uh, that started to influence me too. So this is one of my early reggae tunes. This one's called Susanna. Walk. 
walking on to the night. Santa, won't you walk with me? Santa, won't you talk to me? The sun is sinking, the moon is on the rise. Yes, it is. You know the trial is set, the jury is out. The bar is sitting on a bench. Freedom flew on a holiday, and everybody better hitch their bets. And we sing our song to the four winds, turn our faces to the sun. And we'll dance our love to the music, the heartbeat drum. was down in the islands I uh, really appreciated the music that they called quell bay or scratch band and this was a holdover from the uh, slavery days where people made their own instruments out of what they had at hand and I always enjoyed that innovation and creativity and the spirit of all that around that and they would make things of gourds, little shakers, big calabashes, coconuts, and I use these in my music today. But one of the uh, most interesting things that uh, caught my eye was the conch shell. In the islands, this is known as a tutu, and uh, it's sort of onomatopoeia because it sounds like a tutu. And I have to say, my trumpet playing has devolved to the point where all I can play right now is a shell. But it's a lot of fun. It sounds something like this. is what they used to use to start the parade for carnival. It's also recognized by the U.S. Coast Guard as a marine signaling device. And so some of the native boats still use them for uh, horns. I picked up some of the Calypso stuff too. And uh, this is one of them. Oh, 
Give me the thing with the doctor order me. Later on, still impressed with uh, the uh, the simplicity of, the, of folk music and uh, the creativity involved with people that made their own instruments. Uh, I learned about. group of people who were making their instruments out of cigar boxes. And I discovered that these have been around since the Civil War. Started mainly as a simple cigar box with one string. This is one that I made. It's got a turkey neck for the bridge and a turkey leg bone for the for the nut using just materials that I had on hand and that's what I really enjoyed about this uh, and pretty much using hand tools I didn't have a power tool except for a saw which I used but other than that it's all made by hand and one thing led to another and I decided to make my own cigar box instruments and making them out of the things that I had around and unusual stuff that I found. This is one of my most unusual ones. It's made out of a uh, 1947 Chevrolet hubcap, which I found in the backwoods of Maine. They only have three strings and no frets, so you have to play it with a slide on your hand. I'll do you one of my tunes here? This one's called Poor Boy Blues. <laughs> Days, you know, I'm slowly growing old. You know, my mind is like some fog patch now, but don't you worry, I know how to pull me on the road and in the clear. Oh, but first, I think I'm gonna grab myself another beer. I'm a singing now, I'm just a
probably about as good as you're going to get a uh, 47 Chevrolet hubcap to sound, I think. But I don't know. I throw the challenge out there. As I said, my instruments mainly had three strings. And uh, as time went on, I, discussed, I thought, well, maybe if three strings were fun, six would be twice as much fun. So I made this thing out of a Cohiba box. And it's basically cigar box, three string cigar box version of a 12 string guitar. I've also been listening to a lot of world music. In other words, music from other countries. I really love African. Uh, Central American music. I had the fortune to go to Belize one year and hear a band called the Turtle Shell Band that the whole drum section was made out of turtle shells and shakers and things that they had made. Um, so keeping in line with that spirit of international flair and flavor, when I made this six string I had no idea what it was going to sound like, and to my surprise, it sounded sort of like an Indian veena, a drone instrument from the country of India. about his lady. that uh, song to an old English folk song, as one would do, or not. Yeah, 
Here's another three string cigar box. This one's interesting. In that, as I said, I make all the stuff out of reclaimed material. This neck is made out of wormy chestnut, which I got from my uh, my wife's half sister's floor from her Vermont farmhouse. She now walks and plays through into the basement, but. Uh, It also has an, an oak neck uh, fingerboard that was made from uh, was made from um, a church pew. And it's real cigar for a bridge. you with uh, a little reggae tune that I worked out on this thing, a little song by Bob Marley. Uh, just to let you know, I'll be playing around uh, the Northeast this summer, and I have four CDs. Who listens to CDs? I don't know. I'm an analog man in a digital world. I still make CDs. Um, I've got a mixed bag here. I got something with my trio. I got one of all cigar box stuff. And here's one, my latest one, which is only a month old. Postcards from the Edge. Um, it's uh, postcards from the islands. Well, sort of the edge, I guess. Um, all stuff that I made while I was recorded down there. 
I built about 250 of these cigar boxes. My wife tells me I need to get rid of them. Some of them are for sale, some of them aren't, and I keep building more. So if you're interested, give me a holler. Thanks for listening. I'm David Reed, and I'm going to end with this little tune. Thanks for listening.